just a few months time, humans are going to be sending a freaking helicopter to Mars that weighs less than this two liter bottle of soda. Why is this mission so important? Well, put on your commando gear and lather some baby oil into those biceps because it's time to get to the chopper! While we're all stuck in lockdown for who even knows how long, NASA, the US space agency, is getting ready to explore another planet. Again. Except this time, they want to do it by air. The space agency is dropping off another Martian explorer in early 2021, the rover known as Perseverance. The primary mission of Perseverance is to look for previous signs of life on Mars with a suite of science instruments but the rover will not be alone. Tucked away in its belly will be a small helicopter or rotorcraft named Ingenuity. Early in the mission, Perseverance will spill its guts, regurgitating Ingenuity onto the red planet like a mama bird feeding a baby bird. Once Ingenuity is released, Perseverance will roll along on the surface of Mars and get out of its way. And shortly after, the flight tests will begin. But Ingenuity has to overcome some major challenges to take to the skies of Mars. For one, we've never actually flown a spacecraft on another planet before, and it's not like as easy as controlling a drone is on Earth. Second, Mars doesn't really have much of an atmosphere. It's there, but it's super thin. It's about 1% as thick as the Earth's, and that means the tech needed to fly is a little different to what we might see down here. Third, Mars really likes to kill our robots. It took poor spirit uh, and it's taken Viking 1 and Viking 2. Unfortunately Mars is just really cold and really dusty and it's not shielded from the radiation from space so it's, it's really nasty on the surface. And fourth, you really only get one shot, one opportunity to make it all work. Fortunately, Ingenuity is uh, ingenious? It's basically a box with four legs attached to two carbon fiber rotor blades. On top lies an antenna and a solar panel. Like some of our smartphones, Ingenuity even has a tiny clever processor inside its guts. And that's basically it. The remarkably simple flyer is not designed to fly all over Mars. In fact, it's only really designed to fly for short bursts, about 30 to 90 seconds at most. But that's important, because putting a chopper on the surface of the red planet will be useful for scouting missions. Although we can map Mars from space, getting up close and seeing what lies ahead will be useful for future rover missions. NASA thinks the ability to see further ahead will actually allow rovers to move across the surface of Mars much faster than they have in the past. Opportunity, the little rover which was lost in June 2018 and officially announced dead in February 2019, travelled around 28 miles over 14 years. Rovers have to move slowly, with NASA engineers on Earth feeding instructions that take about 10 minutes to get to Mars, so carefully planning the route for a rover is important. Imagine having support by a helicopter. That would enable Mars rovers to roll further than ever before and at a much faster pace. On top of that, NASA's rovers can't get everywhere. They aren't built like planes, they're built like cars. And if they want to get up onto a rocky outcrop or the side of a mountain, they have no hope. But a helicopter can do that. And what about when humans finally get to the surface of Mars? Our drone-like scouts won't just be gifts that we give to our Martian sons and daughters, but they'll be fully-fledged surveyors that can help us get a better understanding of life on the Red Planet. Now, NASA notes that Ingenuity is not actually part of the Mars 2020 mission proper. Perseverance's main goal is to look for signs of past life and then collect samples which can hopefully one day in the future be brought back to Earth. Ingenuity won't play any part in that. It's just a tech demonstration, but it's one that aims to prove we can tell a robot to fly all on its own. If Ingenuity can take to the skies of Mars, it will be quite an impressive achievement. The world's first helicopter, the very unusual VS-300, only took flight for the first time in 1939. That's just a touch over 80 years ago. 
And now we're gonna go fly on the surface of Mars? You know, I really think that's something that our good friend Arnold Schwarzenegger would be proud of. If you like this video, why not hit the subscribe button or check out some of our other cool videos on Mars and Mars rovers. They're gonna be around here somewhere. One of the editors will put them over this way. Put them over here, Ian. Ian, put it over here. I swear to God, if you put it over that side, put it here for people to click on. Thank you.